Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you Flutter callback functions. So, in the Flutter, we are having two types of callback functions. One is without data passing, the that is called as void callback. So, with the help of void callback function, uh, we are unable to pass any data. Just we will get the triggering point. So, value setter comes to the value setter. So through this callback function, we are able to pass any type of data that is string, boolean, map, list, anything. Anything we will be able to pass with the help of the value setter. So in this video, I am going to explain you white callback. White callback. For example, if you see, uh, if you see the elevated button, if you see here, first of all, I am taking on a stateful widget. Stf. Here, adding scaffold. Set the scaffold and adding body. Set the body. So if you see here, row children main exercise max. Here I am taking an elevated button. So if you see here, elevated button, text, submit, okay. So if you see this on press, actually this is the callback function, on press. So in elevated button, this will get having inside on press function. On press means this is also one of the void callback function. So similarly, we are creating uh, the callback function. We are customizing the callback function. This is inbuilt one. If you see here, elevated button. This is the on press. If you go, this is the white callback. Here also, they, they were using our white callback. So, similar way, we are customizing the callback function. So, for that one, we are taking one. We are taking one container. Color green. I'm taking one more container. Okay. Okay. So, so this row inside the row, uh, this container will take will take half portion. This will take half portion. For that purpose, what I have to do? First, I will. I have to wrap this container with expanded widget. So this one also I have to do same thing. Expanded. Now let's run the code and check how it is coming. So if you see here, so half of the portion is occupied both containers to the screen. So inside this container, green container, I am adding one button. Elevated button. So not like this. We, we, we have to take separately separate stateful widget or stateless widget first page dot, dot stl okay first page Inside the container, I am taking child as elevated, elevated button, all press, child will be text, page name, okay. 
margin so i have to wrap this with center widget container no need so container i am removing okay. now here i have to pass callback function why callback callback on press on button press on button press it now remove the constant from here after that add the on button press inside the constructor so it is required on button press so here what i have to do on button press so this will be on button press so i have to call this widget here see here on button press to call back is came here instead this will get so just print it first page button press it So here I am taking one text widget. I text. So initially I am adding one name, string name, Hussein. After that, I am adding this name here. So whenever when whenever the first button press is happen i want to change that name to sai kumar ganadula ganadula so like that so after that i have to refresh the screen for that i am i am using set state here okay done now let's run the code and check how it is correct Okay, Hussein is coming here, but here uh, this is red. How to give? Okay, it's okay. First of all, check it. So change them. When I click on this, this name have to change. Change name. See, Sai Kumar Chandra is coming. And also first page button pressed. First page, first page button is pressed. The print also coming here. This name also changed from Hussein to Sai Kumar Chunadula. So like that, we have to integrate the callback functions. And also, and also I will explain you value setter also. So value setter, uh, what is the difference between value setter means uh, value setter and void callback. We will pass any type of data with the help of value setter callback function. But if you take void callback, we are unable to pass any type of data. That is the main difference between these two. So here what I am taking on button press. So here instead of void callback, I am adding value setter. So here. I am passing some string string okay. now this is expecting uh, string value so see here it is expecting string value callback function why because we added the value setter inside the string so that's why uh, so here I am passing uh, Muhammad 
okay so after that see here this is also getting some error because inside this function inside the inside this function we have to add one parameter value so so this callback function is returning now some value no? that's why we have to add the value here so after that print this value what it is coming okay and also here I am changing the name to value so whatever the value we are getting I am assigning that value to the name so initially it will be display Hussein whenever user click on the button then it will display Muhammad because we are passing the Muhammad no? Muhammad name we are passing through the callback function value setter for that purpose so let's run the code and check now if you see here now uh, this one is displaying Hussein so when I click on this change name Muhammad is coming see like this way you have to pass any type of data with the help of value setter function we don't want any data so in that case you will use white callback function white callback function like this so we, uh, if you are using white callback you are, you are unable to pass any type of data you have to remove the value and also here you have to remove the value So this is the complete detailed information about the callback functions in Flutter. Uh, if you if you like this video or if the video is helpful to you, please share to your friends. Uh, this video will be might helpful to them. Yeah. Thank